and get started then. All right, before we dive too deeply into this feature, I want to ask you all, do any of you know about or have heard or seen the movie Alien at all? Okay, or if you're even a little bit familiar with the concept, here's a little bit of an image for you, and this is what we're going to kind of dive into with this speech today, and that's a video game called Alien Isolation, specifically the AI system within it and how exactly it works. Uh, so in this game, Alien Isolation, the general premise of it kind of mirrors the movies. You're a person in a space station and you're trying to survive from these aliens, which is pretty similar to the movies and what happens. But with this video game specifically, it has an AI system that has yet to be trumped by anything else in today's day and age regarding video games or even moving into technology. And that's because it uses an incredibly unique system of artificial intelligence to build this system, and it's really cool to look into. So this AI system is a two-part unique system, and that's built up of two systems called the behavior tree and then the director. Now these are the two programs that govern in this video game, the alien that is chasing you as the player around. So this first tree is the behavior tree, and it's more normal for what exactly uh, happens with artificial intelligence in video games. This may seem a little complicated, but I'll break it down for you. So essentially the way this works is it's different computer programs that tell this entity in the game or this alien what exactly to do. Most video games and even robotics programs in real life use this kind of programming. Where you start at the base of the root of the tree, you give it a basic command, maybe open a door. Here's a more simplistic version where you go walk to a door or walk through a door. And so you'd move to that action and the AI would perform that action. Mm -hmm. And from there, it branches out into more of the trunk of the tree with different options to do. Okay, now that you've gone to the door, how are you gonna open it, go through it, interact with different objects? All of these give the illusion that it's learning from what exactly it's doing in this program. In this game specifically, this alien seems like it's learning from the movements you're doing as a player. You go through doors and you hide into vents to get away from it, and it suddenly starts tracking you more. It goes through those same doors or starts following those vents that you were in just a few minutes before because it's following the AI tree. It's following a program of seeing where a player is, following that action, and then following the tree based on what those actions have. So that's the first part of this artificial intelligence that goes into this incredibly complex AI is it follows the tree to really go after the player. Uh, but this isn't actually the most complex part of what is involved with this AI. And that's because it has a second part that makes it so unique. And that's called the director. Now this part of this artificial intelligence focuses on two things. One, it focuses on the location of where this AI is centered. In this case, the alien. Where exactly it is lets it keep going on that first part of the AI. That tree following those actions, opening lockers, walking down hallways, things like that. But the second part of the director is that it also shows the AI where the player is specifically. Essentially, it uh, periodically feeds the general location of the player to the AI, to the alien in this game, in this case. Not the exact location, but enough to lead it to your location, and then it would fall back onto that first stage of its behavior and that tree of following through those sequences. So this picture in particular shows what it would look like from the director. So the green dot in the center would be you as the player and where you are, and then the red circle around that is the general location, so different items that are around you, whether there's a table, a wall, things like that. And then the blue around is what the alien would sense, or the AI in this case. So the director would give a ping to that first part of the system, or an alert to let it know where exactly you are, make it lead towards it, and then from there, it would fall back to the behavior of the first stage of this artificial intelligence. But that's what makes this specific AI so unique in this video game, is nothing has even come close because they all stop with the first part, with this behavior tree of making an AI follow this program and nothing else. But the video game creators did such a good job with this AI that actually robotics companies are starting to adapt this similar idea of what AI is looking like in today's day and age because they get stuck at the behavior tree branch. They make them lead through a series of programming trying to make it to learn, but it's always limited because they can only go so far through that tree of predicted behaviors and predicted performances that they can do. So they're starting to implement this second action where it's being told where a person could be or where a player could be in this specific instance, just like Alien Isolation, 
and let it learn from that director. So now it has these two systems both feeding back into it. And that's a little bit about Alien Isolation's AI. Thank you.